Hey everyone, I hope you're doing okay. And if you're not, here's a picture of a cute adorable little ducky. I hope that makes your day a little better. Anyway, it has been a year since Unis Anis, and if you saw it, then you know the impact that that channel had on a lot of people. Whether it was serving as a reminder that you need to live life to the fullest, that you can because it will eventually be gone, or maybe it got you thinking on how you can make just one year very productive and fun or just as simple as people finding a way to hold themselves accountable because every year we make ourselves new year's resolutions and funnily enough no one really sticks to them because there is nothing that is making us do it just knowing that one day we aren't gonna be here it makes you want to live like actually live and experience things that's my opinion of it anyway um i'm bringing this up because i recently saw a video from Lixian. Um, he's a video editor. He edits videos for Markiplier. He has his own channel. Um, he's made a few games and he's just one hell of a good editor. He made something called his Unis Honest list and kind of set these goals for himself for 2022. They went from passive goals to active goals, meaning that the active goals are the ones that you are going to strive for and the passive goals are like you can achieve them, but it's going to be okay if you don't. So, I decided to make an Unis Honest list for 2022 myself. So let's just jump right into it. My passive goals are to get my own place. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, but have never had the financial means to do so. Um, now that I have a new job that pays me so much better, it just eats away at my time and sanity. Um, I may be able to get my own place in 2022. Well, hopefully. Anyway, <laughs> you never know how life is gonna go. Um, my second goal is to relearn German. I used to be an average German speaker, believe it or not. Now it's like I am back in my year one German class because I know nothing anymore. I recently met a woman who was actually from Germany and trying to speak to her in German was really cool because like it was a connection back to her home for her. And I know that I'm gonna be able to see her again at some point and I want to be able to have a full-fledged conversation in German with her because like y'all do not understand the way this woman's face like lit up when I asked her Sprechst du Deutsch? My passive goal number three and I mean extremely passive because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it but I'm gonna try anyway is get to a thousand subscribers. This one is absolutely a dream. <laughs> you know more of a dream than a possibility, but I only put this there because my channel has grown so much in this past year alone compared to the other three years that I've been on YouTube. I think I went from like 25 to 91 subscribers in this year alone. Uh, I didn't think I'd be nearing 100 subs by the end of this year, but here we are. I honestly don't think that I will ever get to a thousand subs, but I'm trying to tempt fate and hopefully me being like, oh, I don't think it'll happen. And then fate will be like, yeah, you don't think I will? Well, here you go. Didn't think I was gonna do and I did. So basically my goal in life is to just annoy the cosmos so much that it eventually works out for us both. <laughs> I get what I want and then they don't have to hear me complain anymore. I think that's a win in both of our books. So now on to my active goals. Very first one, I want to make more videos. I have wanted to make different kinds of videos this entire year, and I was planning on making more than I did, but things happen. It's not because I like lack ideas or anything, or like I don't have the means to produce them. I just overthink a lot. Like every time I want to do a funny-ish video, I think about how someone is just gonna chew me to pieces because it wasn't something that they personally enjoyed. Like it's really hard to make content that is interesting to you and other people when you see other people who are doing that getting trashed. And like, they're not even controversial videos that I'm talking about. It's like people who, I don't know, they start to learn how to skateboard or something like that. So they take videos of them learning to do things and like, oh, I just learned how to do this or I'm learning how to do this. And you get people mad that A, they don't know how to do a certain thing. They're not doing that certain thing correctly, even though they said that they were learning. Or they're, they're just simply wanting to start a fight 
to start a fight. Like it's really, really frustrating that like people who are just trying to pretty much create like a journal for themselves, like an online journal. Cause honestly, that's what I think posting videos is. It's just like an online journal for your life. People get mad at that. Like it's really frustrating when people watch something that they don't like and they know that they don't like it. So instead of just clicking off the video or scrolling, they get pissy at the person who created it. But I kind of realized this year that I'm not gonna match everyone's sense of humor. I'm I'm not gonna match something that people wanna see. I'm not gonna match everyone's expectations and things like that. So why should I care? I'm letting people I don't know and who don't know me bother me for what? Like fear of hateful comments, you're gonna get one regardless of what you do. Someone not liking me or someone just itching to start some drama. Literally again, no matter what you do, there's gonna be someone who wants to do that. There are people out there who wanna do nothing but just waste your time because they have nothing else to do. That's unfortunately how much privilege some people have. They just get to waste their time and everyone else's time. Like, okay, you don't like the content that you're seeing. The internet is big, go somewhere else. Making videos is honestly trial and error for yourself and for your audience. I had to learn that it is pointless to be overly worried about what someone might say or think about me. And like, if someone says something that I don't like, it's my channel, I control whether to mute them or delete their comment or whatever. I have that power in my hand. If someone doesn't like it, again, they can leave. Like, I don't wanna look back at my life and regret things. I don't wanna look back and say, wow, I really should have done this cause I may have enjoyed the experience or things may have gone better than I thought that they were gonna go. I wanna actually experience life. I wanna be able to look back and say, yeah, I did this and it may not have been what I was expecting and maybe it might not have been the best, but it was fun. So just food for thought, what pointless people say. That's the mood going into 2022. Number two is get in shape. Why did I make this an active goal? I have no idea because I'm probably not gonna follow it again, but damn it, I'm trying. But honestly, kind of like my video reason, I'm tired of holding myself back. I'm tired of being this person that I am constantly critical of, constantly making excuses and just saying, it's not gonna happen to me because I'm me. Like, I don't feel like doing that anymore. Yeah, exercising is hard and it's painful. It feels like you've hiked the Himalayas for three days without taking a break, but it will continue to feel that, that way if you don't do it. Plus, I'm also super self-conscious about working out from other people. Cause again, there are people for whatever reason are unhappy that you are doing something with your life. I don't understand why people get personally offended that there are people out there who are trying to get their fitness on and they're just like, oh, unfit people working out in my gym? Never. And again, why the hell should I care? If they're gonna get bothered by me bettering myself, they can suck a big bag of dick. If people want to be mad about things that do not matter, let them. Don't let it bother you and take away the life that you wanna live. And my last active goal is to enjoy the moment. This is something that I continue to work on. For those of you that know her, Summer, she is one of my best friends. You may have seen her in my vlogs or on this channel in general. Um, if you haven't, go check some of them out. She pointed out that I have an issue that I have almost no sense of being present. I am constantly looking for the next adventure, for the next big thing to do. And I'm never like just be like happy where I'm at. Like anytime that I'm having this good time, I will, you know, I'm never gonna get to experience something like this again. And doing that makes me not want to experience anything because I don't want things to be just a memory. I don't want to just have a moment. I wanna have that moment forever. And that's not realistic. You no, know, thinking about those happy moments get me down because it's just like, it's not gonna last and I wanna hide away. Cause like, you know, if I don't make any memories, then I can't be sad about anything. Well. I tried that and it hasn't worked. I'm still sad as fuck. If I ever get a fancy title, I want it to be queen of hurting my own feelings. Cause no one gets me down like I get myself down. I'm pretty much just sabotaging whatever good moment I have with the thought it won't last. So instead of doing the, oh my God, it's not gonna last. I'm gonna try and do the, I'm gonna enjoy it because it's not gonna last. Like I'm gonna attempt and make that the reason that I should just enjoy things because it is true nothing lasts forever unfortunately good things do not last forever and that's exactly why you should enjoy the moment of course that may just turn into fomo and i will start to make questionable decisions 
but it's about the journey, not the destination. Um, the very last reason of my active goals was the message that I got from Luna's Honest. They had one year to make their experiences count. And after that time was up, all their experiences became a fond memory. Making the videos, editing them, posting them, watching them, interacting with people who have watched them. We all have that memory that we can look back on and say, damn, I experienced that. It's awesome and I miss it, which makes me happy that I got to be a part of it. I guess I am using the memory of Unis Honest to actually better my mentality. Um, I can be happy for what I was a part of. Instead of being sad and depressed about the things that I have lost, lost out on and don't have yet, I can be happy about the things that I have been a part of that I have experienced and be happy about what I can create moving forward. Nostalgia is a tricky beast. I love them and I hate them at the same time. So thank you all for an incredible year. I really could not have done this without you and I hope to do more in 2022. It really would be awesome to create a community here on YouTube for people that need help, for people who are, you know, just looking for a space to go to, you know, just to escape and have some fun. You know, maybe learn something too. Cause learning can be fun. I think learning is very fun. Speaking of 2022, exotic minivan, Steven, I hope you you watch this one. I promised you a truck reveal and I'm going to deliver that in the spring. I need to clean my truck and now it's way too freaking cold to do so. And I want you to have a proper introduction to my truck. So I promise it'll happen just not right now. Thank you all so much for watching. And I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Did you know what Unisanus was? And did they make you rethink on how you approach life or was that just me and I'm looking too deep into things? I don't know, do I do that often? You know what, what do you know? Either way, let me know down in the comments and maybe tell me your Unisanus goals for 2022. If you don't have any, that's fine. Don't forget to leave a like because it really helps me out. Dislikes are also welcome if that's what you're feeling. Maybe subscribe if you're wanting to stick around and see more of the nonsense that I post here. As always, thank you for watching and I do hope to see you in the next video. I do not know when that will be because surprise, I'm moving and that's gonna take up some of my time plus my new schedule with my job. This video is probably gonna be the last one of 2021. I am sorry about that, but I am very stretched on time at the moment right now. So until next time, stay safe out there. And happy new year. Make smart decisions. I mean it. Bye. Bye.